Hi everybody, four o'clock in the afternoon. Haven't uh, touched the camera at all, but I've been working out here. I'm siphoning some water from the big tank down to the little tank. I see I've got a seal leak in the rainwater system. I am le leaking uh, a little bit of a drip there. The uh, shed, I've got to put the, uh, where am I here? I've got to put rain gutters on the shed next payday which is in a couple days I'll be getting the rain gutters for that and I'll be gathering even more rainwater it is raining very much today I've got right there's the lever the level of the water in the big tank so it's now ready to clean so I'm gonna move my little Harbor Freight generator out of the way and I'm gonna get a broom inside there and sweep the inside of this tank cleaning it of algae and then I will transfer the rainwater system from the big tank to this tank here and refill that. Once that fills this one, which is hooked to the house still, then I'll transfer the water into that and fill it as I'm washing the tank. And then when the tank's clean, I'm going to put it up on a pallet and then I can start actually using it. That will be my main water supply in the uh, tiny house on wheels at the off-grid homestead so anyway I haven't really really been recording because it's sort of disgusting out and uh, just not really nice camera day and uh, there's really nowhere to put the camera everything is humid really really damp and humid and you can see the uh, the fact of that just by how this is a milky looking color and it's not the color of the water or anything it's because of the humidity gathering on the lines it is very, very humid. So, all right, well, I'm gonna clear this off. I've got some stuff stored up on here, household items from the Saturday's clean out. And I'm gonna clear this off and clear the path and clean that tank. So I'll talk to you all in a while. Well, that was dumb. I managed to get the tank mostly cleaned out. And just at the end, when the last little bit of water was draining out, I dropped the broom inside the tank and just discovered that the broom fits perfectly in the bottom of the tank. So now I have a problem. I'm gonna to have to get a magnet and a fishing line and hope that that's metallic enough to lift that broom handle up out of the tank. So now I gotta look for a magnet. That was dumb. Well, I've reconnected the rainwater hose to the tank. There is a fair amount of water running off into the tank and I'll let it uh, put a few more gallons in there and do a final rinse and then uh, this will be ready to use. Well then of course I'll lift it off the ground on a pallet, uh, put the pallet on some bricks or blocks and then put that on the pallet so that it's um, up off the ground and when I get gravel as somebody had suggested I can throw the gravel underneath. That'll be perfect and fine and good for me. Uh, I also got to finish the siding in here though before I do fill that tank. And that's a shame because we do have uh, three days of rain coming up and I'd love to be able to use that water but I'm not going to be able to do so because I won't be able to get the siding in around behind that tote if I filled it. So sort of a shame that I'm going to end up losing all that. The most I can gather is uh, 20, 40 uh, well, the most I can gather, I guess, is 60 gallons with those two tanks. So we'll see how it goes, because I had a good uh, 50 gallons in there that I just dumped out for washing the tank. So, well, that's it for now. Now I wait again for a while and let that refill. Good evening, everybody. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Uh, sad... Look at how beautiful that truck was when I got it. And right now it's not running. And the lift bed doesn't work. I am very, very sad. That was a beautiful truck. Hopefully one day I'll get it going again. But right now it's done. But uh have been working on my blog. Uh, some of you may remember that my blog, I had lost all of the uh, images from back in the day. And I'm restoring all the images through and through. And here, for example, you'll see some images that are missing. And I've spent the entire rainy day today 
working on these images because this is the source of my income and I need to get it fixed. So, and this is interesting enough. This is cleaning the RV and raising my potato beds. That was cleaning the old RV and it was pretty disgusting when I got it. And so I'm going through all the old blog posts and um, restoring all these images. I've been working since, well, I've been working all day on this and still got a long, long, long way to go. So all the images were lost when I tra transferred to my new server. The images were lost and so this is what I've been doing all day today. just want to show you what I'm up to and that's it. I'm just going to keep plugging along at it until I'm done working tonight. So talk to you all later.